I wanted to share my story today on my swollen lymph nodes and how it completely changed my life. I remember so vividly being on this hospital bed, laying there, getting the cold gel of an ultrasound applied to my neck, which is where my chain of lymph nodes there was swollen over five times the normal size. And the fear that came with that, the panic, just feeling my whole body tense up as the wand was rubbed over the lymph nodes, just waiting for an answer to what I knew was going to be life-changing. I wasn't able to get an answer that day. I had to wait over a week for my results to come back, and I remember leaving that room and needing to get to our car in the parking lot as quickly as possible. Like something just was about to explode. And I remember getting to our car and I just started weeping, letting it out emotionally, just crying, terrified, thinking, I don't know what we're gonna do. What happens if something really awful happens to me and I have to take Anne through this? What if I can't be there for her? What if I'm what if I'm gone? Those were really scary thoughts for me. We had only been married for a couple years at that point, and um, I just remember being so afraid for her too. But looking back at that moment, I'm so grateful that that actually happened because it set me on a completely different path in my life. It woke me up and it started to show me a whole different way of life. So that was about four years ago, four to five, and I was in a place of constant anxiety and tension in my body that I wasn't even aware of. I had a lot of stress going on that was basically a culmination of me not dealing with pent up emotions and traumas over the years. And not to say it was anything extremely traumatic for me, but as I've learned over time, the more you don't allow your emotions to flow through you and instead bottle them up and get stuck inside, well, (laughs) they get bottled up and they start to cause disruption to your body and to your spirit. It's all connected. But I didn't see that at the time. All I knew is I had these swollen lymph nodes, this chain of lymph nodes that at the time my chiropractor noticed and having to deal with um, the fear and the panic associated with, well, why are these, why is this happening? What's going on? What's wrong? So I went to my GP um, and after about five minutes, he kind of just brushed me off and um, wanted me to go get an ultrasound, which is where I started my story today. I got no answers right then. I had to wait for my results, which took over a week to get. And in the meantime, the stories that swirled in my head, the um, the worst case scenarios that would pop up all the time, really sent me into a panic. So I went back to my GP and I got the results and the test results came back with basically inconclusive. They didn't find anything wrong. And so my doctor wanted me to get a biopsy. And at that point, something clicked in me. And I thought to myself, this just doesn't feel right. 
but I had had I had had it at that point. I had been waiting for months for answers without any progress. And I decided to do something about it. And that is when I decided to really take control over my health. What I didn't realize is it was going to lead me down a path, a healing journey that would lead me to a shift in my career, a spiritual awakening, and helping others heal themselves. That it would lead to me, myself, becoming a healer. Because at that point, I had been a commercial photographer for numerous years. And the stress of that job, as, coupled with the resentment that I felt towards that business for the lack of control I felt I had over it, for not feeling confident in myself at that point. It was all this kind of perfect mixture to really cause some havoc. <laughs> But I now see that it was my body communicating with me. And really, I believe that it was source, universe, God, whatever you'd like to call it, a higher power, trying to just wake me up and say, hey, there's something wrong here. And it's not just physical. <laughs> You're feeling stuck. You're feeling unfulfilled. You're stressed out all the time. You're out of balance. You're not aligned with your purpose. But those messages came to me through my swollen lymph nodes, through that part of my journey. So I went down this whole road of self-healing and exploring different healing modalities and I dabbled in Chinese medicine for a long time, seeing an acupuncturist and an herbalist, which was wonderful. And it, honestly, it provided some really beautiful healing for me. But I hit a plateau at some point that I couldn't get over. They had, my lymph nodes had gone down in size, but they weren't resolving. And I just knew there was something else going on, but I couldn't explain it. I just remember looking for answers everywhere, Googling everything, researching every type of natural health website, just looking for something outside of myself to answer the questions that I had to my own problems. And what I've learned over time is that the answers aren't out there. The answers are in here. The answers are inside of each and every one of us. Basically, my body was screaming at me to wake up, listen to me. I've got something to tell you. Something's off. Something's wrong. And it's not just your body. It's your spirit. It's your emotional center. Like you're not connected into life, into your heart, into your purpose. And I'm so grateful for this experience. Yes, it was of course challenging. It was scary as hell. And through all this process, which is numerous years, <laughs> numerous years, I came to realize that so much of it had to do with unprocessed emotions that I had not dealt with. And this is when it really started dawning on me that there's actually a mental and emotional connection here to these physical symptoms, which I had never heard before. This was life-changing for me. It's like I woke up. And so I started digging into these self-healing techniques of releasing trapped emotions, releasing unresolved traumas that had been stored in my body, in my spirit, in my emotional heart center. And I started noticing huge shifts. Not only did the swelling in my lymph nodes go down and completely resolve itself, but I was dealing with so much more than that that I didn't even realize was connected. 
my anxiety started to clear up. I started feeling more connected to life. And I started noticing how much of a victim I was making myself out to be. I was just stuck in a victim mentality. And it woke me up to that and it started to heal it. It started to heal itself through all of these beautiful energy techniques. So I was in that phase for, you know, probably a solid two years of really going deep within myself, addressing childhood traumas, addressing trapped emotions, addressing unhealthy cords that had me attached to past experiences or people that were no longer serving me. And it was through this beautiful process of my body speaking to me to then connect with my emotions and my heart that I found profound healing. And I've never felt better physically, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually. And that's what's beautiful about this too, is it led me to a spiritual awakening where I really started reconnecting with my soul, my purpose, the essence of who I am and really start to come alive, to wake that up, to show it to people, not hide it anymore. Because that was my default is, it's not safe to be who I really am, for I'm gonna get hurt because of the lessons that I had learned in my life. I was always different than most typical men. And I learned that that wasn't safe. So I had to put a mask on in order to be accepted to be safe basically, to get through the day. And this process, this spiritual awakening has shown me that, hey, like you're, you're great just as you are. And I can love and accept myself. And if people don't, that's okay. That's okay. I know I'm not for everybody and that's okay. But at the end of the day, I have to accept and love myself. And that's what this journey has shown me. It's about acceptance, it's about loving myself, being connected to a bigger purpose. And I wanted to share that all with you if you are struggling with your own health issue or if you're dealing with swollen lymph nodes right now, just to give you a different perspective that it's trying to tell you something. It's trying to tell you something more here. So you need to start listening to your body. Go within, really connect with your heart and see what's, what's off here, what's off balance. Am I connected into life or am I just going through the motions? Am I afraid to be myself? Am I afraid to show who I really am? Am I doing what I'm called to do? right? We have to ask ourselves these questions because once you start answering that, it's such a beautiful awakening and a beautiful journey that's filled with health, vitality, love, purpose. And I hope that this has helped you because it's really important to me to share my story, to show you that it is possible to move through health challenges and this has shown me my purpose in life is to help people heal to show them that there is a different way that when you are connected in body mind and spirit oh man it is incredible and it's wonderful and beautiful and full of love and light and so i wanted to share that all with you and if this resonates with you I'd love for you to leave me a comment below um, let me know what you're going through and if you would like one-on-one -on -one help I do work with clients one-on-one -on -one to help them heal through energy work so if that's of interest to you the link is in the description below thank you for being here as well and if you enjoyed this, if this connected with you, I ask you to subscribe to our channel, to like this video, to hit the bell every time we post a new video. We'd love to have you along on this journey with us. 
I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'm sending love and light to all of you. Take care.